When our beautiful humpback dolphins are gone, don't ask me how to fix it. These precious creatures are Australian humpback dolphins, or Susa sacculensis. These beautiful animals were elevated to a separate species in 2014. The recently published data has only centred around Morden Bay area, the home to 130 individuals. However, more research is being undertaken around Australia. But I believe that if we combine our voices and opinions, that we can quickly solve this issue that's really crumbling in front of our eyes. So, are you going to support our animals in their future, or let them die? Many factors have placed the Australian humpback dolphin on the International Union of Conservation and Natural Resources list. This successful organisation has been around for 70 years. Some reasons why this species is decreasing in numbers include bycatch, noise and waste pollution and habitat loss. Another example is people throwing their discarded cigarettes into our waters. If a cigarette can kill a human, what can it do to a dolphin? How long can you put up with this? How long until you take action? How long until this world crumbles to pieces? When you pick up a piece of rubbish, it's not just rubbish, it's a life. You decide what happens to it. Together we can save our dolphins, save Morton Bay, save our home, save theirs as well. So. Why do people keep taking advantage of these beautiful animals? Just have a laugh? I don't think so. Why do people leave packaging and fishing material in the houses of the Australian humpback dolphin? Why do people allow this? Why do you allow this? After interviewing Dr Elizabeth Hawkins and her crew from Dolphin Research Australia, I realise that the amount of possibilities to help the Australian humpback dolphin are endless. By using biodegradable bags like this, it helps keep plastic bags out of the homes of these beautiful animals. When you're fishing, remember to reel it in and stay at least 50 metres away from the Australian humpback dolphin. Believe it or not, it's actually illegal to feed any dolphin, so why do it? I want to leave you with a quote by one of the world's most incredible wildlife conservationists, Jane Goodall. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. And she is right, make a difference. Make people listen. Make this world a better place. Take action, spread the word, inspire others. I've written the first chapter, now it's your turn to write the second.